herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Aufnahme von einem neuen Projekt. Wartet mal. Ich muss schon ein paar Mal neu machen. Ich würde sagen... So. Dann Fortschritt zurücksetzen. Ja. Und wir fangen ganz von vorne an. Assemble with Care. Ein kleines, kurzes Rätsel-Puzzle-Spiel. Ein bisschen traurig im Hintergrund. Der Sound ist aktiviert. Jetzt ja. War er eben tatsächlich nicht. Baba. Alles klar. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. Huh? Schon so ein bisschen, wie soll ich sagen, hipster, oder? Ja. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. Places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. So passend zum heutigen Tag ein kleiner Hustenanfall. Ich hoffe, es war jetzt nicht laut. Ich hab's gemutet, aber irgendwie war das Muten an sich ziemlich laut. So. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. Yep. I've been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Yeah. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Genau, und auspacken. Und jetzt geht's wieder weiter. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Okay, Rätsel gelöst. War jetzt nicht so schwer. Es ist ein Story Game. Ich glaube, das passt. Finally, das wird nicht I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days time. Mm -hmm. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Ja, mal was Gutes essen, richtig. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it. So I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. Ja, arbeiten ist wichtig. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. Ja, die Reiselust. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories. Revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. Yeah. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Das wird jetzt ein kleines bisschen traurig, so weit habe ich sie mich schon gespielt. Schnups. Schlaflied. It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. 
Ich hoffe, dass das funktioniert, also dass ihr mitlest, während diese Frau spricht, weil ich möchte ja nicht dazwischen quatschen, ist ganz klar. Und so lange machen, dass ich jetzt alles nochmal lesen muss ich ja auch nicht, ne? In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. Ja, das Food Festival, ich kann mich erinnern. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. Das ist aber schon ein Schlafzimmerblick, oder? I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. Tja. Yeah. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Natürlich. Why did you do that? How did you do that? I didn't see. So, dann wird mal ein bisschen geschraubt. Nee. Steuerung, muss ich mich noch dran gewöhnen. Aha, those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Bam, bam. Äh, wo ist die Schraube? Ach, da. Ne, komm her auf. Ich Ach so, jetzt weiß ich, was zu tun ist. Genau, so. Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side and hold you so tight, know that I will always love you. Sie singt nicht sehr schön. We both know that we Nette Stimme, aber sie ist ein bisschen falsch. Aber naja, es gibt eine Geschichte. When it finished. Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? Wer They're very gesungen? good. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. Ja, die Mutter ist tot. When Izzy's friends called for her, She dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. <laughs> I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. Natürlich, eine Quittung auch für diese Art Bezahlung. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. Wunderschön, ne? Das ist doch mal ein Spiel passend zum Wetter und zum Lockdown. I wouldn't be able to fix. Tja. Hm. Dun, dun, dun. Bruchstücke. Bin mal gespannt, ob er auch irgendwas. My first kriegen. repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. Mm -hmm. Tea. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel, 
and found a message asking me to make one more visit. Mm, noch ein Termin. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. Oh, good. The father of Izzy. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Wow, sagen wir, das wird jetzt echt aber Seelenschmerz hoch 10, oder? It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Ja, klar. Mhm. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Spannend, ob ich das überhaupt hinkrieg. Ähm. Warte. Ähm. Was hab ich getan? Das kann's ja nicht sein. Das müsste ja irgendwie... Ähm. Warte. so unanspruchsvoll. Sag mal, könntest du es bitte mal so lassen, wie ich das halt haben wollte? Danke. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Ja klar. Nimm mal auf jetzt. Hey, könntest du bitte mal das machen, was ich will? Dankeschön. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <lacht> Wir kriegen es aber hin. Ja. Geschafft. Thank Gar you, nicht Maria. so einfach. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. Sag mal, das wird heute, das wird echt alles ziemlich bitter, oder? As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, 
It nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? Yeah. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Yeah, so macht man das manchmal. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Hoffentlich, aber sie seid, scheint ja recht fröhlich zu sein. Aus, also abgesehen von der toten Mutter. Hm. Ui, das geht ganz schön auf die Tränendrüse, ne? Nicht verbunden. Klingt auch wieder total fröhlich und davon weiß ich jetzt noch gar nichts. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped. Breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. Ich habe heute auch noch nichts gegessen, merke ich gerade. Ja. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Genau. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. Uh -oh. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen mm. chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. Echt jetzt? At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but mm -hmm. it won't connect. Irgendwas stimmt doch da nicht. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Ja klar. Es geht hier nicht ums Basteln, das ist ganz klar. Wow. Was? We'd normally be much busier than this. Yeah, yeah, normal is here feel more loose. Or is noch jemand a bit unehrlich to sich selbst? You can okay. fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Das müsste es sein, oder? 
Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. Mm, okay. 